Running multiple apps on your Android phone or tablet can really slow it down. Just compare the performance when you first turn it on compared to at the end of an app heavy day. So while the Android can multitask, it doesn't necessarily mean you should. At least not with 46 apps at the same time. AppKick allows you to take control of your apps. You can easily find your latest downloads, rate and share apps, create favorites lists, but most importantly, you can clear your phone's memory and kill apps that are taking up precious processing power. Look down the list of running apps and AppKick will tell you how much processing power is being used. Tot it up and you'll see that killing them off represents a genuine performance boost. You can kill apps running in the background and foreground and, if you know what you're doing, you can hit the System Apps tab and kill those as well. Be warned, injudicious use of this can cause your phone to crash. Killing apps is as simple as tapping the target next to the app's name. Although it's so enjoyable, we did tend to get a little carried away. AppKit doesn't just lay waste to errant applications, however. Your apps can be arranged by name, by date installed, by most recently accessed, or by a user-definable favorites folder. Select a group of apps and you can uninstall them all in one fell swoop. Alternatively, if you're feeling more love for said apps, you can share recommendations via email or social networks. Finally, you can back up your apps onto SD card in case the worst happens. And if you delete one and then have a change of heart, you can restore it from the deleted apps folder within AppKit. We recently began banging on about apps to SD, which allows you to free up space on your phone by moving apps from the internal storage to SD card. AppKit, however, does the job just as well as apps to SD, neatly analysing all the apps on your device. Task killing, SD moving, and app backup in one beautifully designed and free package. AppKit is highly recommended.